Hello everyone, in this video we will recreate one of the Boris Brescia's songs by Island, which is Hold Your Speakers. It will be going to sound like this, I just create some basic loops. We are getting close to the bass line, so how should I create it? Let me just turn off the effects first. Just for the last one. So what I'm gonna use is what I'm using is uh, actually in this song, if you listen to the bass line, it is not simply defined with a solvate. You cannot define it with solvate. It needs to have something with it. It doesn't have a sine wave for me, for my ears, because it doesn't wobbling. It will create some pattern like that with the cell wave and combination with a triangular wave. So actually, we will creating this sound without the filter. <laughs> So how can you adjust which waves may be used in the song is in the Boris Brescia's bass line you need to find the where the drop hits in this part it's around this part where the kicks is cutting off and the bass line EQ high EQ part is all the way up so you can hear the high parts of the bass song too so you can define your bass lines much more easily in the high level part because low level part can be anything you can just create this those low level parts by simply using a cell weight but I if you're coming in the drop part you will gonna hear that it is not the same as the cell weight so you need to add something to it so what I'm gonna add is a uh, cell wave and triangle wave combination which I find to be in the serum I define one waveform one oscillator ray I got my filter and two envelopes one of them controlling the cutoff one of them is controlling the envelope of my baseline and in the effects part I got my distortion of course chorus delay and reverb sorry not delay just a tiny bit of the reverb I just add my main reverb in here and let's listen without those effects how does it sound we actually created our bass line just that song but if you listen to Boris Precious bass line it will just hit in your face when every note hits <coughs> while he creates some sort of distortion without losing the where every note pressed you can hear them it's not going to lost in some kicks or bass release part so how we do that we create a small envelope like that when the note reach it will get decreased in about half a second and the cutoff will go from high to low very sharp and when the knot hit we hear our distortion and it goes in almost in seconds and we create a bass line that just sits 
those seconds. One, two. Like that, right? So it will be around half a second. So you can catch where the melody is. This is the most important part. You cannot just do something like this. You will lose your bill. You can do that, but you can lose. You you can hear well. Not that. You see this, right? So you need to separate your notes timelines very carefully while designing a body splash of bass line so this will create uh, the hit on your face effect for me for my ears i just defined the, uh, the body splash of bass line like that so i'm just going to opening the effects one by one first off opening the saturator what the saturator does is overloading my song and by overloading my sound, I will get some distortion in the high part and saturate my song and create a nice new candle. You can see that it is going to hit it on your face as I'm opening the saturator. I can increase it. Person just to create a little bit of the ambience between those spaces, not much because I don't want to lose the motive part like this. I don't want to do that. You see that it's fading. You see that while it's fading, you will hit the other note, you cannot be able to clearly hear the faded part so it will create a nice it is going to fill the space really nicely actually so and in this black part I just got some EQ so that I don't clash with the kicks easily I can increase my change those waveforms by just simply adding one oscillator to solve wave and those oscillator will be by triangle and adjust the tune levels uh, maybe add some FM or AM to the song just switch around a bit you will find your uh, sound very easily just as I'm saying in the beginning just listen where to drop it in the voice precious songs you will hear the old bass pattern in the EQ so let me just show you that by just this is the EQ part of the bass line where they drop it in the voice precious reference right you see that right this is only bass well you can hear 
new content. So you can hear all the parts, not those parts. So that's it. I'll see you guys later. Have a good day.